Jack wanted to try out his new Yeti Gators, so he had chosen a notoriously badly drained path after two days of good Scottish rain. Yeti Gators had always seemed to me to be too fussy, a step too far into technology when all we were doing was walking. But right now, with my feet soaking wet and cold, and with still at least 45 minutes hard walking to the car, I was envious and tetchy. Right now, said Jack, I'm trying out the path of least resistance. I was in no mood for this kind of chat. I'm trying to walk as lightly as possible, like I've got no weight, and so no pressure on the path. I squelched into yet another thick, muddy patch of bog, seething with expletives. I think I'm getting there, he said, sounding quite pleased with himself, oblivious to my boat. I remembered my flying dreams. My favourite bit was when I suspended the belief that I was going to fall. Through my power of thought, I could hang and just keep hanging. Then I could control my suspension and with a rush of delight, I would be climbing higher and flying. I don't think that's what the path of least resistance is about, Jack, I said. You seem to be talking about flying, whereas the path of least resistance, it's kind of going with the flow. Same thing, said Jack, as he appeared to hover ever so slightly above the peat bog.